Today on Made in SA, we take a walk on the wild side with animal lover Melissa Vistik. My dream is to become a vet. She has the passion and her family and friends believe in her, but when she meets her coach, she'll find out if she has the stomach for helping animals in pain. We rescue, rehabilitate and rehome abused, abandoned and neglected animals. Melissa will have to connect with her inner Dr. Doolittle to help animals at risk. This is How We Roll, where we celebrate young people of excellence and give them a kickstart to making their dream a reality. I'm Melissa, I'm 16 and I live in Kensington. My hobbies and my favourite pastimes are singing, dancing, I canoe and I do cross country. I enjoy walking in the park with my friends and just hanging out with my family. I love animals, I love outdoors, I love swimming, love people in general, I love food. <laughs> just love music so singing comes with it. My dream is to become a vet and I realized this when I was like about seven. I had the idea, but then my dad said that there's other things out there as well. So I kind of dwindled away from it. And then last year, my brother brought in a puppy. It was a cute little one like this big. And then um, she became ill. She caught an illness called parvo. When we took her to the vet, they said it was too late to do anything. Then I was thinking, if I had like the skills and the knowledge to like do something about it, then I was thinking that veterinary could be something I could look into. Describe myself open, being understanding, like I like to learn new things. And the special people in my life are my brother, my sister, uh, my dad, my mom, and like basically my family. Because after a long day of school, like they hear and they make you laugh even if you had like a bad day. Two cards. Oh no! It's quite nice to have them around. My name is Antoinette, I'm Melissa's mom. Well, Melissa is a very happy-go-lucky child. She enjoys uh, outdoor sport and she's very eager to learn, wanting to try new things. That's basically Melissa. Anything and everything. We've met her parents, let's now meet Melissa's friends. Hi, my name is Lisa and Melissa and I have been friends since grade six. And I'm C-Pop and we've also been friends since grade six. Melissa is very caring, outgoing. She goes with the flow a lot, so it's just yeah. comforting to be around her. Yeah, she's very outspoken. She's like, I'd say she's a good people's person. Definitely. She likes to talk, <laughs> she's very active, full of energy. Full of life. <laughs> Melissa and I, our plan A's never go to plan, so <laughs> planning isn't one of her strong points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she's too nice to people. I don't know if that can be a problem, but like when people do her wrong and like she can be a bit too nice to them. Melissa doesn't do anything that irritates me. <laughs> oh, same here. Eh? It's like she's always smiling and stuff. It's hard to get irritated or angry with her. Exactly. What I love about Melissa is that she's a smiling person. She's always smiling, she's always laughing. She's always looking on the bright side of life. What I love most about Melissa is her bubbly personality. She's just, she's always fun to be around. I think her dream to be a vet suits her because she is very caring by nature and she loves animals, so it's just the perfect combination. I've seen how she takes care of her dog. She's very comfortable with them. Um, she's always looking to care for animals. I think the best way Melissa can achieve that goal is by, she'd have to go to school for it, prepare properly, go through the training, go to vet clinic, just practice there. I also think she'd be better at her job by getting as much experience as possible by doing internship at VETS.
Melissa's dream to be a vet is very in keeping with her goals and her ambition. Quite often we've seen that, you know, she will find the stray animal or she'll pick up the wounded animal. She's actually the person that will take care of it, where we would say, no, no, no. But Melissa's got a, a, a very compassionate heart. I think it's important because there's many dogs out there and animals in need of some kind of um, medical care because I see a lot of people, they may not treat their pets right and I think it's pretty interesting that um, to like look into all of the different aspects of it. If her dream is uh, to become a vet, obviously you support that. Melissa is very hardworking and uh, dedicated to her studies and organized and uh, she's trying to achieve her goals. The subjects you need are bio, physics and maths. You need to be really good at them, uh, above 75%. And it's always best to go over 75 because there's a better rate of acceptance that way. I do see Melissa reaching her dream because she is terribly passionate about it. Melissa will reach her dream if she is determined and uh, I think it's about education and also perseverance, you know. If somebody really wants to achieve the dream, then it is possible. You've got the heart, yes you do. You're not a vet yet, but you will be soon. Get turned up. After the break, Melissa will have to put the rhyming aside and hold on tight to a love for all things furry when she comes face to face with at-risk animals and her coach. Welcome back to Made in SA, the show that gives the stage to Mzansi's most promising youngsters. Earlier, we met bubbly pet whisperer Melissa. Time to meet her coach. My name is Debbie Hashelman. I'm the general manager of Wetner's Animal Rescue Centre. We're in the business of rescuing animals. What it entails is um, we basically rescue, rehabilitate and then rehome abused, abandoned and neglected animals. To work in animal rescue, I think you need to be quite emotionally strong. You get to see a lot of things that makes you want to cry, it makes you want to throttle somebody, the, the cruelty that, that people can do to animals. And to be in this industry, obviously you love animals. And then to see the things that you see on a daily basis, you need to be able to go home, cry your eyes out and come back tomorrow. It is rewarding and at the end of the day, it is worth it. What I love about rescuing animals is the, the personal reward and the joy you get out of seeing an animal come in to us in a terrible state and you just see it day by day getting fatter, picking up weight, it starts to develop a personality, eventually it's strong enough and healthy enough to go home and it gets rehomed to an awesome place. I, I can't think of anything more rewarding. I think the biggest misconception about my job is people seem to think that you can just rescue the whole world and in reality you just you just can't you only have the the staff the funds the facilities to do so much and people just think you can just keep on taking in, taking in, taking in, when really people need to take responsibility for their own animals, um, which is why our main concern is, is of for abused, abandoned and neglected. Right now I'm feeling, I'm pretty excited, so I can't wait to meet my coach. Today I hope to achieve, to broaden my own knowledge. I'm also wanting to see how I am with other animals, other animals I'm not really familiar with. And yeah, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Hi, Melissa. Hello. Hi, I'm Hi. Debbie. It's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you want to become a vet? I do, I do want to become a vet. Okay, specifically in welfare? I'm thinking I will first study normally and then specialise into whatever category I feel okay. I'm most comfortable with. Okay, and why do you want to become a vet? Well, I love animals, like I really do. Um, I have a dog at home and I like, I just love how they, they have different characters yeah. for each animal. Yeah. Like it's, it's quite an amazing thing to watch. And these are all rescues, they've all been all rescued. rescued. Yeah, most of them come from um, pulling, pulling carts and things like oh, that where they have to pull very heavy so carts. And like and farms and stuff. 
Well, mostly in the rural areas, um, they they get they pull carts full of wood and scrap metal and that type of thing, and they get donkeys are very abused, unfortunately, in this country. So these are all rescues that have I think 99% of our donkeys here will come of carts, pulling carts. Okay, very pretty. Let's go. <laughs> Who exactly like adopts the animals here? Well, the, the donkeys it mostly goes to um, farmers and, and small holding owners and things like that. They mm. come and adopt them and, and then hopefully they'll just go and retire somewhere where they can just be a family yeah, pet and be cool. happy. Yeah. But I've got a little present for you. Seeing that you're going to be part of our team today, you need to wear a wet nose shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> to be part of our team. So you can go Ooh. and put that on and then I've got a brilliant challenge for you. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you all about it as soon as you get dressed <laughs> in your kit all right cool thank all you all right okay i'll see you nana sure ah that looks nice you ready to go yes i am cool let's go cool go around the other way. side so your challenge today melissa is um, you're going to come with us. We've identified an area not too far away mm -hmm. um, where there's a group of people um, living on a small holding that just can't afford the basic care for their animals. Mm -hmm. We're doing a bit of an outreach today and you'll be coming with our team, with our inspectors. We're going to go and see what we can do, how we can help their cats and dogs. We're going to go and de-tick and flee them. We're gonna go deworm them. We're gonna vaccinate them. We're gonna just give them a little bit of a clinical examination and see if what they're all healthy, check their ears, eyes, teeth, etc. And then we're gonna bring them back for sterilization, which you'll also be involved with later. So you've okay. got a big challenge ahead of you that today. Does, a lot. <laughs> does it sound like fun? It does, it does. Right, good. After the break, Melissa will begin her challenge and see if she can handle the blood, gore and stitches that come with realising her dream. Welcome back to Made in SA, the show that rolls with Mzansi's future hotshots. Today, aspiring veterinarian Melissa gets cosy with cuddly critters. She doesn't know it yet, but later she'll have to get some blood on her hands to help with a tooth problem and an organ in an unexpected place. Hello. What's your yes. name? Poopals. Poopals? Yeah, Boopal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it was bitten out by another dog. <laughs> yeah, it was bitten out, yeah. So, but he's quite tame, you can handle him. Okay. So, Melissa, you're going to be working now this morning while we're here, mostly with Veronica. Veronica's our kennel manager. But she's also a qualified inspector. So she's qualified to vaccinate and to deworm and to do all of those things, the same as the, the, the inspectors are. And she's going to be teaching you how to do all of that. We're going to be filling in paperwork, the two of us, and the two inspectors will be fetching and carrying dogs and cats and whatever needs to be looked at. And as we finish them, we're going to load them into the vehicles to take back to wet nose for sterilization. All right. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to basically deworm the little dogs. Mm -hmm. We're going to give them tick and flea stuff and we're going to vaccinate them um, and rabies. Right. Okay, cool. Then basically I'm just going to quickly check like teeth and general condition and ears because mm -hmm. that's sort of a problem. And then Shelly will write down. Okay, so he doesn't have teeth. Right. He's just got a bit long nails and then he needs good definite teeth cleaning. Basically they're just going to clean all these. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then and how do they clean them? We'll show you. You've got a toothbrush, toothpaste, and then you've got a descaler here. It doesn't hurt them, really. No. Sometimes some dogs, because it's a needle and it's sharp, it will hurt. It's the first initial sting. Okay. When I do the rabies now, mm -hmm. you'll see I'm not using the same syringe, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm not using the same needle. And normally with the rabies, sometimes it's cold, so it burns a little bit. Oh. And with rabies, on all animals, they get one mole of rabies, okay? Oh, no. So it doesn't matter the size of an animal? No, and they're only allowed to do animals from three months of age, not before three months. Okay, so they go under the skin and just turn your tits. And just rub them. And who have we got ya? Crummel. Crummel. How old is Crummel? 13 years. 13. That's old. Yeah, That's she's old. old. She's so very old. So what's the first old. thing you're going to look at? Teeth. Teeth. Ooh, totally smart. Smoker. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then if you look at the difference to this tooth, yeah. Yeah, that's much better. Difference. You feel okay. that? Oh, Can you feel the like, like ripply ripples almost? Okay. But it also doesn't mean that it's always sterilized. Sometimes they could have had a problem. She mm -hmm. could have had puppies stuck and they could have just taken the puppies out without sterilizing it. Mm -hmm. So we've injected, so you need to deflue her? Yes. Oh, fun. <laughs> Such fun. Oh, wait, the lid just came on. She might be easier than the Jack Russell. Yeah, yeah that one nearly ate me. <laughs> no, Okay. Hey, darling. Did you remain this? Move it. Okay. There we go. Hello, darling. Whoa, close. Whoa. Okay. You gotta shove it down. <laughs> close. No. no. You gotta put it down the throat. Swallow. Blow him Come on, swallow. I feel uh, that I can definitely do it. Like, I've, I've proved that I can actually use a needle. Yes, even though I pricked myself. It all comes with experience, I believe. So yeah, it was a great experience. So far, I've enjoyed it. It's pretty fun. Um, I enjoyed interacting with all the other animals. And then there was kittens, and I think those are adorable. And I'm sure they'll get adopted, yeah. Halfway through my challenge, I feel, I feel pretty confident. Because after all of that, dogs and everything, I feel I can do this, yeah. Now we're going to do surgery on the dogs. Uh, the one dog has a rotten tooth, which really stinks. And the sterilization. Melissa is a, is a lovely girl. Um, overall, I've had a lovely day with her. Um, she's a spontaneous girl. She's a quick learner. Um, she's willing to try all sorts of things. She's not scared of trying anything. And I think she's a perfect candidate to, to be in this kind of environment. I think she'll do very well. So let me introduce you to Dr. Moos, our vet. Okay. Hello. Dr. Moos, this is Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Melissa is the young lady that wants to become a vet. So okay. she's been out with us to the um, to fetch the animals and bring them back for sterilization. She's helped vaccinate and deworm and check ears and eyes and all sorts nails. of things this morning and nails and things. Okay. And there's two specific dogs that she wants to help you with this morning. Uh, this is, what's the dog's name again, Crimmels. Melissa? Crimmels. Crimmels yeah. This is Crimmels. Crimmels has got some frot teeth, uh, yes. maybe one or two extractions and a bit of cleaning up for Crimmels. Okay. And then this is, what's her name, Melissa? Boopals. 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 Boopals is here for sterilization. So Melissa would very much like to help you with these two animals. Okay, so let's go. Let's get ready. Cool. Let's lift your hands. Take a scrub, like some soap. Twenty times. Now, with your fingernail. Yes. Now, you must remember you scrubbed up now, so you can't touch yourself okay. or anything else. Otherwise, your hands are dirty. Okay. Okay. So, hair dry. Now, let's go. Okay. Just keep your hair dry. There we go. Okay, Melissa, obviously she was weighed, mm -hmm. and according to the weight, and I give the anesthetic mm -hmm. for her weight, okay? okay? So each animal is gonna have a different amount of anesthetic depending on, this is a male. Okay, you see? Okay, you see? He needs a grooming. develops in the fetus behind the kidneys. Yeah. And then, then when the dog is born, the testicle is not in the scrotum, mm -hmm. okay? And then as the dog grows older, up to six weeks, the testicle must be in the scrotum. Okay. In this case, only one of the testicles is in the scrotum. Oh, okay. So the, there's two places it can be. It can either be in the uh, 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 lease, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Or it's inside in the abdominal cavity. Oh, okay. Put your hands in the air. Oh. Why don't you wash your hands? Dirty again. 
ça c'est dans le top. Difficult route to go, you know that. Mm, a lot of hard work. Okay, but remember, it's all worth it. It's one of the most, the best jobs in the world. <laughs> it's very, very rewarding. Mm. Satisfactory. And then is this just connected? This? All of that. That's fat. It's just fat. Yes, mm. it's called the omentum. Omentum. Being a veterinarian is not only a job, mm. it's a passion. Yeah. You gotta you feel different about your job when you're a veterinarian. Um, Picking up carefully because he's now very wonky. Yes, I mean he's asleep. <laughs> Hello little one. We're going to take you to okay. the cage. It's always important when you work in the mouth, yeah. you must give antibiotics yeah. and you must give pain relief. Yeah. And you give pain relief either before the op or during the op. Mm -hmm. So that when she wakes up, not too bad. the medicine is already starting to give her analgesic. I think that Melissa has definitely broadened her horizons today. I think that she's seen that there's a lot more to being a vet than, than just being in a veterinary clinic in the suburb somewhere. Um, and I think that um, she now knows a lot more about the whole welfare rescue type setup and I think she's quite keen on that. I think she wants to do her bit for, for the homeless and the abused and the abandoned and the neglected and you know all the, the ones that you wouldn't see in your average suburb vet, you know, and I think that appeals to her. So, did you enjoy that? I did. I huh? enjoyed it a lot. What did you learn with Dr. Moose? I learned that smiles aren't the worst thing when it deals with operations. Smells? Smiles, yeah. Okay. The smell of the stuff. And also that a testicle can actually grow in your abdominal area. <laughs> yeah. Was that a surprise? That was. Because I didn't expect that. Okay. Yeah. It was quite interesting to learn. Oh. I learned a lot, I must say. And yeah. And as far as you want, wanting to be a vet after oh, having definitely. this experience, do you, are you still interested? Definitely. I say bring it on, yeah. Huh? I wish for Melissa to do very well, first of, first of all at school. And um, I hope she doesn't change her mind about becoming a vet, but she seems quite keen. So I wish her all the best and I hope her dreams come true. I loved coming here, it was amazing. I loved helping out all the animals at the rescue place and I really loved um, meeting everyone here because they're really a good team. Looks like this suburban animal princess can hold her own in the bush. Work those healing hands, Melissa.